Hello, my amazing Algebra Half students. This is Mrs. A, and I love math. And today, in your blue books, we are looking at Lesson 28, which is all about fractions and improper fractions and mixed numbers. So what I have here is a proper fraction. <clears throat> Excuse me. In a proper fraction, the numerator is smaller than the denominator. Okay, so in other words, there is no simplifying that could be done. It is less than one. It is a part that's less than one, and I could represent it on one pi. Okay, an improper fraction is when the numerator, 10, is greater than the denominator, 3. So 10 thirds means that I've actually got more than one whole, right? So if I took each one of these thirds, and I counted 10 of them and shaded one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Then the 10 thirds is exactly the same as one, two, three holes and one third left over. So 10 thirds equals three holes and one third left over. So you think, how can I go from an improper fraction to a mixed number without doing all of that drawing of pictures? So it's very simple. We say 10 divides by three, three times. And that would be 9, right? So we have 3 whole times that 3 will go into 10. And then we have 1 third left over. So we put it here. So 3 and 1 third is actually the same thing as 3 holes plus 1 third left over. And so now we're going to practice going from improper fractions to mixed numbers. And we might as well practice going from mixed numbers to improper fractions because we have to do it both ways sometimes. Okay, so on these two, we're converting an improper fraction to a mixed number. In the next section, we're going to go backwards. So again, what I need to do is take 14 and divide it by 5 and discover how many whole times it's going to go in. So 5 goes into 14 two whole times. 2 times 5 is 10. And we have 4 left over. But 4 is out of 5 that makes a whole. So we will say 4 fifths. And 14 fifths is the same as 2 and 4 fifths. Okay, 21 eighths. So we're going to divide 21 by 8. 8 goes into 21 2 whole times. 2 times 8 is 16. We subtract, we get 5 leftovers. But that is 5 out of an, a whole of 8. So 5 eighths. And 2 and 4. 5 eighths is the same as 21 eighths. When we are going, we've already talked about 10 thirds being the same as 3 and 1 third. When we're going backwards from a mixed number back to an improper fraction, we multiply the whole times the number of pieces that make a whole. So 3 times 3 is 9 plus 1 more is 10. 3 times 3 is 9, plus 1 more is 10, because the 1 was left over, and we put it all over 3, because 3 makes a whole, and we get 10 thirds. So let's practice that. Okay, so we have 7 and 4 ninths, so we're going to multiply the 7 times the 9 together and get 63 plus 4, the 4 remaining, over 9. So 63 plus 4 is 67 over 9. 9. And that is the improper fraction that goes with that mixed number that is equivalent. Okay, here, this is actually practice number 1. So 5 and 2 thirds is 5 times 3 plus 2 on the top, and then just the 3 on the bottom because we're saying 5 holes and 3 parts in every hole would be 15 plus the 2 extra is 17 over 3 would be 
the correct answer. That's your first practice problem. Okay, for the last little bit of lesson 28, we're going to turn a mixed number, 6 and 7 eighths, into an improper fraction. And to do that, remember we take the number of holes, which is 6, and we're going to multiply it by the number of pieces in each hole, which is 8. So we're going to have 6 times 8, and then once we get that, we're going to add the 7 because that was how many leftover pieces that didn't fit in a hole, and then we're going to divide by the number that is in one hole. So 6 times 8 is 48, and then 48 plus 7 is 56. Okay, so 48 plus 7, no, that's wrong. I'm trying to do it in my head, is 55. So we have 55 over 8. So 55 over 8 is what this adds up to be. And then we're going to do this one. 14 thirds is improper because the numerator is bigger than the denominator. So we're going to divide 14 by 3 to find out how many whole times it will go in. And 3 goes into 14, 4, and 4 times 3 is 12. So there are 2 remaining. So that 2 will become a 2 thirds. 2 out of 3 that were needed for the whole. 2 out of 3 is 2 thirds. So the answer would be 4 and 2 thirds. And the last one is 23 fifths. So we will divide 23 divided by 5. And that's going to go in 4 times. 4 times 5 is 20 with a 3 remainder. So 3 divided by 5 is our fraction. And I ran out of room there. So um, we're going to have 3 fifths onto the 4. So 4 and 3 fifths would be the mixed number that is equivalent to 23 fifths. So practice that. Um, and we are done with lesson 28. And you will find that after you have done this a few times the long way, you'll start to do it in your head because you'll say 23 divided by 5. Well, that goes 4 full times. And 3 is left over, so that's going to be 3 fifths. So as you get better at it, you will start just doing it without a whole bunch of work attached. But as you're doing it at the very beginning, I suggest you do it out the long way until you get really, really good at that. And then you will be ready to go, and you'll be doing it just like that. And this is Mrs. A, and may God bless your day.